How to do deployments in cloud environments. Let's now see cloud deployments with one server per environment cluster. We will do a promotion of virtual data port elements and scheduler elements from the source development environment to the target production environment and synchronize the production data catalog server. In this screen, you can see pre-configured development and production environments with a cluster of a virtual data port server, scheduler server, and the data catalog. First, we will configure the target production environment to accept deployments. To do that, we will double-click on the target environment node production from the Solution Manager catalog tree. Now let us navigate to the Deployments tab and set the parameter Enable Deployments to Yes, Set Minimize Downtime to Yes, and Enable Data Catalog Synchronization to Yes. We will leave the other parameters with their default configuration and save the changes. Now we will create revisions for virtual data port elements and scheduler jobs. To do that, let us navigate to the Promotions Revisions option. We will select the New Revision option to create a new revision and choose the source environment as Development. A new tab is opened with a New Revision dialog. Now let us configure the parameters. We will enter the name as Cloud Demo. Next, we will choose the type of revision as Create. Let us also choose the virtual data port server and scheduler server per the environment. It's time to navigate to the Revision Elements tab and choose the elements that need to be promoted. We will choose the Interface view, Employee Sales with Dependencies, and the Scheduler job, VDP Cache Maintenance. Once done, let us hit the Save button to save the revision. We will now validate the revision against the target production environment. We have already defined the properties of the revision elements in the appropriate places as explained and now clicking on the validation button, we see that it is successful. Let us now deploy the revision in the target environment production for promotion. We have now initiated the deployment process. Let us navigate to Promotions, Deployments to monitor the deployment process. Note that this section also includes the status about data catalog synchronization. You will notice that the deployment follows the launch of the new virtual data port instance. Then it deploys a revision in the new instance, followed by a reboot of the virtual data port cluster. Next, the scheduler instance will be launched, scheduler tasks will be deployed, followed by a reboot of the scheduler cluster. And finally, synchronization of all virtual data port servers will take place, as seen in this window. The deployment process completed successfully. We will now log in to the production environment's virtual data port server and check if the new elements are created. Let us navigate to the Solution Manager homepage and log into the production virtual data port server via Design Studio. By expanding the Denoto training database and the folder Report Views, we see that the Interface View, Employee Sales, has been successfully deployed in the production environment. 